Hey guys, today is, uh, is an exciting day because we're finally going to meet Jay, who's from CryoCourt. He's going to come to our place and explain to us what is his uh, stem cells all about. Now, baby, what do you know about stem cells? I know just a little bit, not too much. That's why we're going to be educated today. And uh, if you guys would want to know more, you guys can continue and stay on this video until the end. I think Jay is here right now, so uh, let's go. Okay, so now we're all seated, we got our cups of coffee and we're gonna start. Uh, maybe you can uh, explain a little bit about your company, CryoCord, and ex uh, exactly what stem cell is. Sure, sure. Right, so uh, CryoCord is actually a stem cell bank. So uh, our main services is actually to store your baby stem cells lah, at our facilities. Uh, so that in future, let's say Tasha, you wanna use it for any treatment purpose, you can actually take it out for treatment lah, in Malaysia. Just imagine, right, stem cells are actually very uh, found abundantly in the umbilical cord that's connected from the parent, from the mother lah, specifically. So that it forms a fully uh, you know, developed baby with fully developed systems and organs. Lah. I know, uh, heart, brain, uh, skin, uh, kidney, lung, and, and, and a lot, lot of other organs more. Mm -hmm. right? So uh, what stem cells do here is that they can actually turn into any type of cells in our body, like the ones that I mentioned earlier. And at the same time, right, it can um, multiply very quickly because baby stem cells, they are very active. So multiply being uh, 1 becomes 2, 2 becomes 4, 4 becomes 8, 8 becomes 16 and goes on and on. Okay. So uh, uh, we actually utilize these two uh, unique properties of stem cells and apply into medical field. Mm -hmm. So touch wood, let's just say that uh, I have a heart failure and that causes my heart cells to become damaged. So this is when I can actually inject stem cells right into my heart. And what happens here is that they will actually turn into heart cells in this case and they will multiply and turn into more and more healthy heart cells to replace my damaged heart cells. Uh, so this is actually how it works. Like regardless which organ it is, right, it's actually using the same mechanism. Usually we are using two uh, types of uh, uh, treatment method. So one is where we do direct injection. Like you know, uh, whenever we have like, uh, for example, like knee injury, then we can inject straight into knee. La. That's what we do. La. So it's very concentrated. Whereas the second method is where you inject into the bloodstream through intravenous injection. It's like dripping. La. Then we allow the stem cells to uh, follow our blood flow to all over our body. And then it will be attracted to the damaged area where it re re uh, repair the damaged area. Jay, so I've heard that there are different kinds of stem cells. Yeah, correct, correct. Basically, for baby stem cells, we are mainly storing two types. Right. So the first one is the hematopoietic stem cells, or in short, we call it HSC. Right. And then the second one is known as the mesenchymal stem cells. In short, we call it MSC. La. So just remember the short names, are HSC and MSC. Mm -hmm. For HSC, right, it is found abundantly in the cord blood that is within the vein of your umbilical cord, mm -hmm. right? So that can be turned into uh, all types of blood-related cells in our body, uh, like red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, right? So basically what they do is that they can be used to treat more than 80 types of blood-related diseases, like uh, thalassemia, mm -hmm. uh, leukemia, which is blood cancer, uh, mm -hmm. lymphoma, uh, myeloma, and a lot, a lot more. Right, so this is HSC. Yeah, MSC is actually uh, harvested from the water's jelly, which is a, a tissue layer oh, of the so. umbilical cord. Oh, wow. yeah. So everything is from the umbilical cord, uh? Correct. So one is from the blood and one is from the tissue. Uh, wow. Yeah. So nothing goes to waste. Yeah. Correct. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yep. that, at least as, we are glad to know that nothing goes to waste uh, because that thing is very expensive, uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 And where for MSC, right, it is used to turn into all types of organ-related cells in our body. You know, like heart cells, liver cells, lung cells, skin cells, brain cells, and etc. So it is used to uh, potentially treat um, organ-related diseases, lah. like for example, like heart failure, uh, like stroke, skin diseases, uh, spinal cord injury, brain injury, uh, and a lot, lot more. Okay, so Jay, I wanted to ask, who can use these stem cells? Um, for the baby stem cells, right, for HSC and MSC, uh, it's different. For HSC, right, uh, we need very strict uh, matching requirement. So for the baby itself, it's going to be 100% because after all, it belongs to the baby. But for the parents of the baby, then the matching rate is going to be 50%. So we have to go through a matching test first before uh, you want to use it. Uh, right? And then for the siblings of the baby, it's going to be 25%. 
uh, for the grandparents is 25% as well, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for strangers, let's say if you do not store it, if you were to look it up from someone who's not genetically related to you, like a friend or stranger, then the matching rate is going to be a one in every 20 to 25,000. Uh, that is equivalent to 0.004%, very, oh, wow. very low. Yep. Oh, okay, in, we, okay that, that's a lot of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is if we take the baby stem cell, even our, our own baby one, yep. we only can use 50%. It doesn't mean that it only work 50%. It means that uh, you have to go through a matching first. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the success rate of the matching is 50%. Oh. So if it doesn't match, then you cannot use it strictly. The so effect. basically immediate families like immediate that family, correct. is the best use for these stem cells. What about relatives, aunties? Then it's going to be, the, the percentage is going to be low, lower. Even lower. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that's for HSC. But for MSC, right, uh, it doesn't require matching at all for the entire immediate family. Mm -hmm. What about strangers for MSC? Uh, theoretically speaking, for stranger, they can use as well. Like there's no, uh, there's not gonna be any reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, but very often we advise uh, uh, only to be used amongst the entire family. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how long can this uh, stem cells be stored? I mean, there's an expiry date to it, is it? Uh, okay. Basically, there's no expiry date, as long as we are storing in the right environment, la. So environment being, uh, we are basically storing in. Uh, vapor phase liquid nitrogen uh, in ne negative 190 degrees Celsius. La. So that is very, very cold where we can actually stop the, uh, the biological activity of your stem cells. Uh, so there won't be any expiry date. You can store for uh, you know 50 years, 60 years or even 100 years. There's no problem. Oh, mm -hmm. no. What's the difference between the adult stem cells that we have versus the baby Things, stem cell? Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, this is actually one of the most frequent, uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, let me give you an example. Okay. Let's say if I'm 28 years old this year, mm. right? So if I were to extract uh, adult stem cell like from, from my bone marrow or from my adipose tissue, so the stem cells actually belongs to 28 years old. Uh. If I were to take it from, you know, once your baby is delivered, uh, then uh, the, the stem cell basically belongs to zero years old. So uh, it's so very pure. Uh, correct, correct. So which one actually is more hardworking, you can actually think of it. Uh, very, very easy. So basically, the, the baby one, they are being more hardworking. They can multiply more actively. They can turn into more type of, of uh, cells in our body. Uh. Mm. Whereas for adult one, then it's more limited. Uh, then it's less hardworking. Uh. Understand. Uh, so maybe this one is going to be uh, working a lot better. So basically, your stem cell has been hardworking for 28 years. So at this current moment... Been lazy really. Lazy. Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like that. So, what is the sign up procedure like for cryo cord? Like Basically, you can call our hotline number, uh, which is 18008833300, and then you can actually arrange for a consultant, la, like, like one of us, to actually head to your house or actually have an a e consultation on Zoom. La. Then, after that, let's say if you are interested to uh, sign up, uh, what we do is that we will pass you these collection kits, right? And then there are some documents to, for you to fill up and sign. Right, so these are some of the documents. And then, uh, this collection kit, right, what you have to do is just keep it safe at home. And once you are admitted to the hospital, just bring it to your hospital and pass to your opt-in. Mm -hmm. So your opt-in will do everything for you, basically. I'm pretty sure they want to know also. Mm -hmm. For the consultation, is there a fee? No, 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 it's free. But, uh, <laughs> but what about the cost of all this? The, uh, the price uh, the, the payment is it? Yes. Wow, so right. fast you want to say about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. So, right. so uh, it actually depends on uh, which type of stem cells that you're storing. La. So you can either store HSC alone, the cobbler alone, or both uh, HSC and MSC. <laughs> so uh, if you're storing uh, HSC alone, right, there will be enrollment fee and storage fee. La. So the enrollment fee will be 3200 which is inclusive of the first year storage fee. And then for the uh, annual storage fee, it's going to be 280 per year. 280 per year? Uh, Up to how many years? Uh, for, for 20 years, for the next 20 years. So we are storing for your baby's 20, 21 years. Okay. Oh. Uh, we are storing until your baby's 21st birthday. La. I yeah, understand. And then they pay for themselves or yeah, whatever correct, they want correct. to do with it. Yeah, then okay. after that, you transfer the ownership to your child and then mm. your child can further extend the storage afterwards. Ah. Uh, so if you are storing both HSC and MSC together, then the enrollment fee will be 11800 right? And then the storage fee for both together is 700 per year for the subsequent 30 years. Right? So, uh, and of course, we have a much cheaper uh, pay payment method where you can pay everything one shot. 
Uh, so the range is from uh, 6,000 to 32,000 for 31 years, everything. So oh. 32,000 is like both. Then you can uh, carry out installment, uh, zero interest in installment. Makes so, sense, makes sense. So it's actually not that expensive. Okay, um, the last question, I think everybody would want to know. So if what if in the future, uh, 21 years, 30 years later, touch wood, uh, okay, we stored it for so long already and suddenly I don't have the money to do the um, treatment. treatment. So uh, basically, if you sign up with CryoCard, right, you're actually entitled a program that is known as CryoCare Enhanced automatically. There's no additional payment at all. Uh. So uh, what the program does is that touch wood, let's say if anyone within uh, three generations of family, that includes the child, the child siblings, the child parents, and also the child's grandparents, uh, wants to use the stored cord blood for treatment purpose, right? then uh, you can actually claim up to 150k ringgit Malaysia from us uh, to bear for the treatment cost. Okay, then how much is one treatment like that? Uh? Um, usually it's around 70 to 100k. Uh, one of the terms and conditions is that you can only claim one time. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yep, yep. so that mm -hmm. 150 is within the 21 years and you can only claim it once one and time. once you've claimed it, whatever amount it is, that's, that's it. Been, uh, yeah. So okay. the render will, will be burnt off. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got all that and this is the documentation that we will need to sign. Yep. Is it? Mm -hmm. right. And we keep this? Yeah, you keep this. This too? Correct. Okay. Right. So and once you're admitted, just bring it. Like, okay, both we'll, of it. We'll all right. put it right at the door so that when we, <laughs> when we go out in pain, I just grab going to the car. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> anything that we should uh, I should be aware of or anything? Because you mentioned that just pass this to the doctors, right? I don't need to do anything because right? I scared later if I have to remember anything, maybe can jump. Right? Oh, uh, one thing that you have to remember is that once you're admitted to the hospital, you have to give uh, give me a call. Uh, okay. uh, then we'll arrange our logistic to be ready. La. Oh, to collect the things, right? Uh, yeah, correct. Okay, correct. okay. Mm -hmm. Scully, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> let's say, what if it's like 4 a.m.? I'm admitted to hospital. Do I call you at 4 a.m.? Yeah, yeah. Surely, we actually are on call 24 hours la, every day. The Ooh. On the, hot, the hotline, right? Uh, no, call my number. Or call you oh, straight. Directly, yeah, okay. Yeah. If I don't pick up, you can call the hotline. Okay, so uh, make sure if you guys want to get cryo cord, uh, the, like this cord blood collection kit, the stem cells and everything, make sure to um, go and um, speak with them when you find out that you're pregnant or maybe in your second trimester. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I think when we con we contacted you guys, it was in our second, second trimester. trimester. Yeah. 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 Correct. Correct. yeah, when you're in your second trimester, speak to them, know more about it. And if you guys are interested, you can definitely get yours. And um, like he said, protect the baby. It's yeah. a bio insurance. It yep. is. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much, Jay. Thank, um, you, thank, you. thank you for joining us here. And I hope you guys uh, got some of the information from uh, from him mm -hmm. and yeah we're gonna sign that um, contract right now that paper right there and hopefully our baby Jade is bio insured yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you right